in Ireland, Irish Catholics couldn't even have a church. Which is why this iconic church on the city's Near East Side is so special to so many. This was very much uh, an Irish Catholic enclave. We just grew with it. It's part of the heart of the Irish community. Irish immigrants found their way to Indianapolis looking for opportunity and a place to worship. But like the homeland they left, they faced a new set of challenges. At the time this was built, the Ku Klux Klan had taken over Indiana. They had elected her mayor, they had elected a governor, they were marching around in sheets. They were Irish Americans that had given their, their sons from Civil War, World War I. Everybody had fought for this country and then in the 20s, here comes the Ku Klux Klan to tell Irish Americans they weren't American. In spite of that hate, this new Irish community answered with hard work and the Church of the Holy Cross opened its doors in 1921 serving as a beacon of pride for decades to come. That's how this got built, was all these families came together and bought different pieces and put it together. And that's why when you went in there, you, it was a celebration of the Irish community's success and the ability to, to raise a building and celebrate their faith, which was incredibly important to them because they'd been persecuted for, for so long. These whiteboards behind me once contained the original 120 year old stained glass windows removed just last year by the Archdiocese when Holy Cross closed its doors. Now the once sacred sanctuary sits in darkness. Well, so the reality is the windows are gone, but look to the future and, and come up with something better that serves the adaptive reuse. And Holy Cross is just one of the many historic churches across the country that are being forced to close their doors due to decreased attendance, a trend that continues to grow. That is a, a serious sign of, of the future that, that these congregations that sustain these historic buildings are, are declining. So the, the end result is that we can anticipate many uh, closed or vacant church buildings, many of which are historic and sometimes the great landmarks in their community, as is the Holy Cross Church. Uh, what do we do with these buildings once they are vacated? And with an uncertain future, residents of the Holy Cross neighborhood are hoping they can find a way to save a landmark that defines their community. Come up with an adaptive reuse that enhances this community of Holy Cross, which is named after this church, I mean that spire, that tower, that Italianate Renaissance iconic figure for this side of town um, is not gonna go away, hopefully. It's gonna be enhanced. Mary Rachel Redman, Inside Indiana Business.